And when Joe Hockey joins me, I know we're here for a very good reason, and particularly tonight because Donald Trump has won. Great man. Of course, the boss of Bondi Partners. This election, again, and inevitably someone's going to send me an email and say, oh, two days ago you said the poll was 50-50. The reality is the Electoral College is what ends up uh, electing people, but how you win a state is a margin of this much or a million, it doesn't matter. So let's talk about the decisiveness of the result. I think one of the best things for America, for divided, hurt, difficult America was, it was clear as day and he's won by a mile. Oh, it's beyond doubt now. And, and, and there have been some really interesting outcomes based on uh, credible exit poll data. Uh, Trump did much better with Latinos, much better with Asians, much better with women, much better with uh, people under 30 yes. years of age. Yeah. And this is all contrary to all these pollsters and experts around the place. Um, even on an issue as important as abortion, uh, five states voted Republican mm. and voted pro-choice at the same at time. At the same time. Yep. 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 So people were separating the, the the very sensitive issue of abortion from their vote, mm. and it comes back to the fact that it is a fact. Donald Trump campaigned on policy issues like cost of living, immigration, uh, getting out of wars. Uh, making sure that there were lower taxes, less regulation, greater freedom. And Kamala Harris campaigned on, I'm not Donald Trump. Yeah. And she failed. Well, and, 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 it, and it seems like, again, the, you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of political science and sure. scientists and gender, people who go, this issue and that issue. But in the, in the end, she reflected the bubble that was around her, all right? Totally. A bubble of, uh, you know, New York Times, MSNBC... And, and the parts of Twitter they still like, right? <laughs> yeah. um, but, of course, the country's bigger and wider than that. Yeah. And even over the period of time of eight years, the information sources are different and, and the information coming back to them is obvious. So when they turn around and say, well, but this jobs report and this economy, and you know this is a former treasurer, right? You can't just stand there and say, we're going great because of this growth yeah, yeah, number yeah. when you're paying 30% <coughs> more for eggs and bread. Well, you can't tell people they're feeling good if they're not feeling good. Correct. And especially from, from Washington, D.C., yeah. giving them a lecture about how good they should feel yeah. about life. Um, what was also stunning tonight, Paul, was there was a huge swing to Trump in New York City, in yes. New Jersey, yep. uh, in Chicago, yeah. in working class America, parts of working class America, but also in the big cities. And it was universal. This is what's surprised so many analysts in the last few hours, is that it's across the board, rural and regional, uh, and, and in the big cities, that Trump has picked up more votes and he will exceed his vote in 2020. So we have, we, we have now found the Trump Democrats. Yes, yes. The Trump it. Democrats yes. have now emerged and, it, and, it's, and it's driving the Democrats into a position where they need to seriously reflect on what they believe in. And it can't be just uh, we're, we're opposed to Trump. Because yeah. this, this is the end of Trump's re-election. I mean, that's it. It's well, done. Well, and and that's just, this is what I'm fascinating about, about Effectively, look, I mean, we all know, because that building is up for grabs every two years. Yep. A presidency, basically, in the four years, is defined as the first two. Yeah, And sure. then, in the case of a president who will be, uh, you know, a, a contest for who replaces him, the back two is different, all right? Mm -hmm. But these first two, to have the Senate, to have the House, to have... I don't know if she's got the House yet. Okay. I, don't, I wouldn't go so far as to call the House, because it's so marginal and so... Correct. And I'm waiting to see... If the Republicans lose those crucial Republican seats in California, yes. So good point. that that that's no, it. No. But I think you're absolutely right. The Senate's a much better result for the Republicans than they expected, and of course the presidency is as well. Well, so can I just say this, and can I be the first person to say it on global media? And I'm sorry that you're going to be in the frame when I say this. It means if the Democrats end up in control of the House and try to impeach him for anything, the majority that they have in the Senate means he will not be convicted. That's so right. let's save ourselves yeah. whatever the hell that might be. And you know what's day. interesting is in 2020, after he was impeached twice, there were no ads run by the Democrats about the impeachment. Yes. This time around, there were hardly any ads about all these uh, convictions of Donald Trump as a felon and so on. 
because the American people are just not interested in it. Yeah. They're more interested in what affects them and their families, whether they can get jobs, whether they can pay for the eggs or the milk. Uh, they're interested in fuel prices. They're interested in whether their children are going to go and fight in another war. Yeah. They're interested in whether they're going to have people come across the border and lose control of their own communities. These are the things that have made the decision tonight. And I, I, I saw some of the media in Australia that's so sanctimonious yeah. as to suggest that democracy ended tonight. I mean, Please. oh, my God, Come this on. is democracy. Correct. This is where the people have spoken out against elite opinion. Correct. And actually, that is what democracy looks like. Yeah. Where people speak in volumes and in the majority against what elite opinion is. But also, the same democracy that hired him, fired him, has re Correct. Him, exactly right. right. And it will exactly pass right. a mid midterm judgment, and then, of course, in four years' time, uh, he, he's, he, he leads. But again, let's not talk about next grand final when this one is, is still echoing in the yeah, streets. Sure, right? sure. So, Trump, the negotiator, and also Trump now, as somebody who's not got this, this eye on re-election, all right? Um, he's got a, he'll have a team around him that have been assisted by laws like the change to Chevron deference, which means they can really go after the expansive power of government where, you know, basically the government department can make a rule and pretend it's a law and enforce it in the same way. Um, he also comes with, uh, you know, an aggressive want to, to cut things out of the federal budget. Do you think that the first period of that governing, we know he's going to do things about the southern border, we know he's going to try to do things when it comes to international trade, but he has a very clear mandate to come very in here clear. and break some stuff, right? Absolutely. And it's interesting because uh, some of the people he has around him, like Elon Musk or Robert Kennedy, they're eccentric. There's no doubt about yeah. that. They won't be able to occupy official positions like Secretary of State or Secretary of Treasury or whatever yeah, yeah. because they still might not get through the Senate confirmation I wouldn't process. imagine, yeah. But he will, he will give them absolute authority to go around and break some shells. Yeah. And that's what Americans have just voted for. Yeah. They have voted for Donald Trump to be a disruptor, to change the system. You know, what Australians do understand, because they travel to the US, is when you go into San Francisco and you see the yeah. despair on the streets or, or downtown Los Angeles or even New York or wherever it is, we see that. And then yet some people are surprised that they voted for Donald Trump. Well, the Americans have voted for Donald Trump to stop that. Yeah. The, or, or at least to take it on. Well, but this is the thing. I mean, literally, literally we're in Dallas. Beautiful, wonderful, amazing city. And we're watching people in a food line, right? Like, yeah. like, like, like yeah. if it was a black and white photo from the 1930s, you would think that they just were wearing future clothing. Yeah, right? like yeah that, sure. That's the level of desperation. Yeah. So just before, before we're done here, let's... And Dallas does vote uh, Democrat. Yes, correct. The, yeah. I mean, Hillary won the 30 largest cities in America. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Donald Trump won the election. It's because people don't want their town to end up like the big cities. Well, now the big cities are saying, we've had enough as well. We want to be like the small town. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Exactly. All right, so uh, in terms of the Australian connection, I've spoken that I think AUKUS remains unchanged. Yeah. I think that, that that's going to be clear. I think the tariff conversation is really code for China. All right, I'm not imagining sure. there's going to be an Australian scenario. That said, free advice, how does this government, which has a Prime Minister, which has said while he was President, what his feelings were, yeah. and there'll be people that will bring that up to, to, to Donald Trump, no doubt, yeah. but how does Australia deal with Team Red everywhere? Well, the starting point is don't be a public critic. You know, um, yeah, good point. I, I always found I could be a private critic uh, and publicly you don't have to support. You just... Don't become a... Don't join the conga line of critics. Great idea. And, and that, that's a good starting point. Uh, the second point is I'm glad that uh, Prime Minister Albanese has reached out already to congratulate Trump. I think, uh, you know, and I saw Kevin Rudd tonight, I think it's important that they build on the relationships. Yeah. Uh, and, look, Donald Trump will test us. Yes. There is no doubt about that because he tests everyone. Yeah. Uh, the question is how we react. Do we re react in a measured fashion and work out a solution or do we simply, uh, you know, respond like half the idiots in the world yeah. and just try and criticise him and make life hard for him? Correct. Don't comment, participate. Joe, thank you. Lovely to see you. Good on you. All the best. Bondo Partners is, of course, a very good way to stay in touch with what might be happening here in the United States.